Hey, thanks for joining my hike. I'm Kevin, and you, you startled me. You snuck up on me. You came out of nowhere. Whew. I'm a little on edge this morning because there's a lot of traffic getting here today. I mean, everywhere you go, all the canyon. You can't see it from here, but all around us. The freeways, the canyons, backed up with traffic, people going to work. Uh, I was able to jockey around a little bit because I've driven here for a long time. I used to have a book called LA Shortcuts, but now there's no more shortcuts. Everybody discovered the shortcuts. Some books just aren't relevant anymore. It's like that self-help book by Eckhart Tolle. It was called The Power of Now. It's been out for like 10 years. So it should be called The Power of Then. Or they should reissue it and call it The Power of Now, Now. All right, well, we are taking a hike now. So uh, sit back, relax, grab some candy, a little Kool-Aid, and let's have at it. Let me ask you something. What comes to mind when I say butt lifts, bikini waxes, jujitsu, and Giselle? I'll tell you what comes to my mind, my hiking guest today. Not because he's had any of those, but because he's from Brazil. He's a, a, a journalist, he's a actor, he's a comedian, and a TV personality in Brazil. He's huge, so popular down there. Recently, he's made his way to the US to try his hand at it here. And I'm so happy for his success, and he's doing great, he's a great guy. Today we're hiking with the very funny Hafina Bastos. Hafina, did I say yeah. your name right? Is it Hafina Bastos? Hafina, Hafina, it's actually Hafina. N-H. Rafinha. Uh, and you go by, though, you are going by Rafi, though, right? I'm trying to make this Rafi thing work because every time that I MC has to say Rafinha, you always get a seizure. Um, I can't help but notice that you're a little stuffy today. Yes. Maybe, maybe you're allergic to America. And maybe, maybe. I don't know. It's like this weather thing. You know, you guys, I didn't know California was that cold. Oh, yeah. It's it's cold. I live in a tropical country, so things are different here. Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah. I have a runny nose and I was like... And I said the other day to a friend of mine, oh, you ever have a runny nose? And I said, I'm a little constipated. <laughs> and he was like, no, you don't shit through your face, you're congested. So I'm still learning. <laughs> what you're doing is, is beyond remarkable. You're coming from another country. Yes. You, you don't have a, 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 you have a pretty firm grasp on the language. But, you know, you're still kind of figuring out how to translate your jokes mm -hmm. and also trying to figure out, you know, references yes. here in, uh, in the U.S. Yeah. What's been the hardest thing for you since you got here? Uh, I miss my kid. You miss your kids? I miss my kid. I wake, I woke kid. up, you know, it's actually, I woke up today at 6 o'clock in the morning because I had like a nightmare with my kid. Oh, really? Yeah. He was mispronouncing your no, name? No, he wasn't. <laughs> Uh, what does a Brazilian do in Los Angeles? What does a Brazilian do? We do a lot of stuff. But we, I'm trying to figure out all the documents that I have to be to be living here. Documents? Yes. I need to uh, respect the law here. Yeah, you do. So I'm trying to get it's a social security number. Social security number? And I was I have two 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 news today about this whole bureaucracy. Can I just stop you for one second? Yeah, you can. Your English is very good. Thank you very much. I'm but very if, it, if it was any less good than this, I would have to use subtitles. Yeah, but you. So try to stay above the subtitle. <laughs> the subtitle line. <laughs> level. Okay, okay. But if I say something wrong, please correct me. I will. Because this can be a teaching for me. I'm okay. learning. I'm yeah. learning less. Okay. Okay. So I, I have two two good two news. What is good? What is bad? Ask me uh, if you wanna know about the good one or the bad one. Let's start with the uh, the good one. I, just, I was approved in my visa, so now I have a work permit in America. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> now you just have to find a job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the bad news, Okay, right? okay. It's the, no, 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 that's not the bad news. The bad news is that I I did my uh, drive, driving test. Oh, you took your to driver's test yes. today? Yes. And I oh, had, you did well? Uh, no, I, I wasn't. I, I failed. Oh, I I'm sorry. I've been for 25 years and I, I Ruffy, failed. I'm so sorry. You think you ever met a murderer? I think I did. And not know it? Yeah, probably in my lifetime. I was robbed five times. So you I'm were? pretty sure one of those five people. You were robbed five times? Yeah. Jeez. With gums. With gums. With gums? No, no. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what? Well, uh, yeah. Give me some money. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where was this? In Brazil? Yeah. Yeah, man. It's really, it's not safe down there, is it? No, it is not. It is not safe down there. No, it is not. I was robbed five times. Three was with guns. 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 <laughs> We're, I gotta have to put subtitles in some of these yeah, things. Yeah, I know. You have a special out now on Netflix, I right? I do have. What's it called? It's called Ultimato. Ultimato. Ult Ultimato. Oh, Ultimatum. Ultimato, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's on Netflix, but it's in Portuguese. 
What's it about? Is there, what's the ultimatum? <sighs> the concept was that this would be my last, the last chance of my career in Brazil. Which oh. was, that's oh, why I'm you here were with just, you today. You were, yeah, you, you followed uh, your path. Yes, I did. So. And, uh, but it's in Portuguese, got subtitles in a lot of different languages. Yeah. Even in English. Do you think some subtitles uh, are funnier than others? You know, like the, the way they look, like the font? The font? Yeah, because I think Lucky Guy is a really funny font. You're lucky Guys, you like Lucky yeah, Guy? Yeah, yeah. I like, uh, I like uh, Comic Sans. It's funny. Oh, Comic Sans. comic in the name. Oh, you're right. So what is the act about, basically? Is it, uh, is it about your, your ex-wife? And... It's about my ex-wife. My ex-wife, uh, you know, she, she joined a cult. She, she joined a cult? Did I tell her that? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Not on this hike. Not on this height, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, she joined a cult. What's it called? It's uh, it's something in Brazil. It's not the, the, the hajnishi that people wear the same color right, and stuff. Right. But it's a cult. She joined a cult and she, she just uh, preferred to be with uh, God. Would you say that your act is raunchy? What is raunchy? Raunchy means uh, blue. No, no. You know what blue means? No, that, yeah, yeah. It means raunchy. Dirty. Dirty, yeah. No, I'm not that dirty, no. you know? No. I'm not on the stage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm... Tr uh, it's, it's crazy because that thing changed a lot when I came here to America. I'm likable here. You're very likable. Yeah, but not in Brazil. Even with a beard, because usually people with a beard aren't likable. I know. But in Brazil, I'm not that likable. I don't have that likability. No. I'm kind of an asshole. Because you're just one in a million down there. Yeah. Here, you, you know, you got that Portuguese accent. Yeah. Not Brazilian. Which helps. Yeah. yeah. And you're tall, and it's it's hard to uh, become likable when you're such an imposing figure, and you have the beard. Big. And you're uh, almost like terrorist looking. Yes. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for thanks for the, the compliment. <laughs> Did you ever think one day you could maybe create a Brazilian language? Mm -hmm. So one day you could say, mm -hmm. I created the language of Brazil, Brazilian. That would be awesome. People ask me that. They do? Do you speak Brazilian? <laughs> and I would say, don't worry, we can speak in your language, American. <laughs> That's right. We speak Portuguese. <laughs> What's your phobia? What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of spider. Spiders? I don't like spiders. And I don't like hiking. Oh. I'm glad I didn't wear my Spider-Man <laughs> yeah. costume today. <laughs> no, I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of the death. I don't want to die, you know? Yeah. The other day I, I, I pissed my pants and I thought I was like, I'm sick, why am I, like, why? I'm That's too... called drunk. Maybe you drank yeah, too maybe much. That was the, the yeah, maybe that was the issue. But I don't drink, you know? You don't drink? I did weed once. Yeah, weed once. Yeah, marijuana. Yeah. Marijuana, I love the way you say marijuana. Marijuana, I just You that. could be on Narcos. I could, I know. What is it about Brazil? Why is it known for its butt lifts? I don't know. I, I don't think we are known by that. I think he, that's the way you read us. Maybe we have natural, big, big and beautiful butts, and you think we do some kind of a plastic surgery. Those are those are not natural, though, are they? They are. They are known by their butts. Why? Because they have beautiful butts. I don't think they have huge butts. They don't need a visa. They have their butts. They don't. They you just show that at immigration. Just go. Ging, 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 ging. That's okay. <laughs> do you dance? I you dance do the salsa. No, not salsa. Samba. Samba. Samba is the the, is the Brazilian. Dance from Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. Are you good? No, I'm not. Let me see a couple of steps. You Samba, stay right there. Samba, Samba steps. You stay right there. This is the feet, okay? You have to go two and two, but I'm, my feet is too too big, so it's a little different. <laughs> you look a you look a little like Charlie Chaplin <laughs> walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of women go to Brazil to get a butt lift okay. because the doctors there do it cheaper but sometimes they're not too good and they come back to America with a bad butt a bad butt okay there's more cracks in the butt than they come down there with okay what but what would be a bad butt a I bad all butt ba all, all butts are, are awesome well not if it's packed with cement and the doctor signed his name in the cement um, um, yeah maybe <laughs> do you think Brazilian men are more emotional than men from other countries. Like, do they cry more easily? I do. You do? I don't know about Brazil, but I do. When was the last time you cried? Uh, in traffic coming here. After you failed your uh, failed driver's test? Failed the test. I, I cried a little. Yeah. I cried when I miss my kid. I cried when I don't find 
when I go to the 7 Eleven and they'll have Dunnets. But they don't have Dunnets like Crown. They don't have what? Dunnets. 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 What's that? Put some subtitles on that one. Dunnets. Dunnets, the. Ping, ping, the, the sweet. <laughs> What's the name? That's not a Dunnets. Do you That's know Dunkin' Dunnets? That's a donut. Donut, yeah. That's a donut. <laughs> Dunnets. Do they have a little Brazil in Los Angeles? Little Brazil? Yeah. Like a Brazil with with you know like little, little Italy? No, not little people. They have little Italy here. They have you know Chinatown. Do they have Brazil land or something? No. Just you should start a, that. How would you start that? You should start one. What would be a little Brazil like? A people with nice butts and he, in weird accents? Yeah, all in one area. Oh, so they're all in one area. Yeah. Oh, that'll be that'll be awesome. Yeah. I don't think I'll have money to buy a little Brazil inside of LA. If I went to Brazil, would I be able to find a little America there somewhere? Yeah. Like a little community? Or yeah, it's called McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. That will, it's they already it's have. also known Little America. Can you tell the difference between a Brazilian and a Portuguese? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I can see one person coming in my direction. I can see, oh, that's a Brazilian guy coming. Really? I can't. I, I can't what, what is it? I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know because you know. Is, it, is it the bikini wax or the butt lift? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Maybe because yeah. they're long shaved, they're waxed. No, no. I don't know why they come in my direction. I always know when they are Brazilian. We are loud. You're That's loud. one thing. You are loud. 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 You're we loud. loud. We don't. We have this accent, and that's the problem. Uh, I wish we had this Hispanic accent. Yeah. Which sounds very good, like, oh, the world would be in such a better yeah. place. Do you think you'll ever marry again? I don't, I don't want to get married again. I know you don't want to, but do you think you'll ever get married I again? I think I will. <laughs> I think I will. Probably, like, very soon. What's the one thing you look for in a woman? Is it going to sound bad if I say sax? Sax? You like someone who plays the saxophone? Put the saxophone. Oh, uh, I like to have... Uh, sorry, that's... Uh, one with a that's kid. not appropriate when there's yeah, a kid not appropriate. like that. You don't want to talk about saxophone. Yeah, I don't think so. That's a lot of Might family. encourage him to take it out. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, what I really want is someone that respect my, my, my desire of watching bad reality TV. Bad this reality TV. This is something that I think is really, really important for me in a world. Yeah, yeah. Did what reality ever... shows do you watch? Oh, that's the best. I was waiting for that question. <laughs> Did you ever watch a show called 90 Days Fiance? 90 Days Fiance? Yes. No. It's the best thing ever. It's the best thing ever. Okay, because no, you know, there's a, there's something here in America, which is if you're in America and you fall in love with a foreigner, you can bring that person to America and that person is going to be in a K-1 visa. So you have 90 days to marry that person or that person go back to, go back to their country. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, and they be, and they don't have visa to live here anymore. Oh man, so you there's got... a lot of scams and oh, a lot of man. people that come here and marry those crazy women. It's yeah. the best thing ever. You know, coming from Brazil, people yeah. would assume that you play soccer. Soccer, yeah. And do you play soccer? I did play soccer. We all play soccer, at least for a little bit. We do. Yeah. But I was not like good on soccer. Because... It's hard for a tall person to play yeah, soccer, it is, isn't it? it is. Unless you're the goalie. Yes, because our feet, there's too much angles in our feet. It takes too long to get the body I moving. Know, I know, you But know. I play basketball here. I used to have a scholarship to play basketball here. In Nebraska? In Nebraska. That yeah. was the place, you know? Yeah. Nebraska. I played there for like a season and I got injured and I had to go back to Brazil to do surgery. What happened? I got punched in the face. Oh man, because you headbutted somebody? No, I was pro in Brazil for a while. Pro basketball yeah, player? Yeah, yeah. You're a big deal in Brazil, aren't you? <sighs> I did so many stuff. I'm no. not a big deal. Yeah, if your but friends are you. watching from Brazil, would they say, Rafi, you're not a big deal here. We, we kicked you out of the country. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> hey, tell me about your tattoo. This tattoo? Yeah. It means... Uh, what is it? You know what it means? What? It means mistake. <laughs> big mistake. Yeah, it was a big mistake. It goes, it goes, this is the end of the tattoo. It ends yeah. here, so it's all the arm. Yeah. I was young, you know? Right. I wanted to look rebel. That's why I don't have the likability in my country. Look at this, look at this. A 6'7 guy, 245 pounds with this tattoo. And this is not the one that you're going to invite to meet your family. You have a very high voice I for someone uh, as, yeah. as big and imposing I know. as you. I know, I know that. I wish I had a better voice. I have a better voice. Do you me. sing? 
I just think we might hear something. Uh, when the night has come and away you go. So you're like a karaoke singer. Yeah, yeah. You like karaoke? I do like karaoke. Is that your go-to song, karaoke? No, the, my good song is um, break my heart, say you love me again. Now, I know you're a better singer, but you have the cold Yeah, mouth, that's so. the problem. Yeah. Because I'm a very good singer. Today I'm a little out of, uh, out of tune yeah. because of the sickness. <laughs> when are you going back to Brazil? I'm going uh, in a week. I'm yeah. gonna be there with my kid for a while. For the holidays? Yes, and then I'm gonna bring him here to nice. be with me for like a month. Nice, drop him off at the border? Yes, I will. Yeah. With those Mexicans, they're gonna take care of my kid. <laughs> Babe seating is expensive here. Oh, it is, yeah. You pay like 200 bucks for a night. Oh, 200 oh. bucks? Yeah. Are you sure you're talking about a babysitter? Yeah. Can you whistle? I'm a specialist, actually. There's one thing that I can do that nobody can't. Look at this. Nobody can, can? Can you do this? Can I do this? Oh. Okay, but now do the reverse. Look, I can make a noise. But can you do the reverse? Oh. I can't do that. You win. You win. That's why I got my visa. <laughs> But then with one finger. <whistles> ah, you're not doing it with any finger. <laughs> Look at one finger. <whistles> you know what I'm gonna call you? Uh, the whistling terrorist. <laughs> 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 Thanks for a great hike, Rafi. Yeah, yeah, thanks, this was so was much awesome. fun. I've been wanting to do this with you for a long time. Thanks, my friend. I wish a, you the best of luck it was a pleasure. in the US of A. And I hope you get your driver's license. Yeah, we will. Thanks and also, good luck with your butt lift. Yes, I will do it as well. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend. Obrigado, Rafi. Fun hike. You know, Rafi said that everyone in Brazil plays soccer. I wonder if everyone in Brazil also gets a butt lift. I mean, is it mandatory? Don't forget to catch Rafi's new Netflix special called Ultimatum. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for my YouTube channel too. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. What about you, Ken? Do you think you're funny? <laughs>